Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Silvana and this channel is all about elevated styles for every woman. In today's video, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks and hacks on how to camouflage the tummy area. It's a tricky area because even when we are slim, women tend to go through phases that they find their tummy getting a bit more round than usual after having children or during menopause or postmenopause. So what happens is that you are not familiar with the new body and it gets a bit tricky to style your normal pieces. But luckily, as usual, styling comes in to help you camouflage that tummy area. I don't have a big tummy myself, but in order to make it more realistic, I'll be wearing a fake tummy just to illustrate the difference better for you. So I hope you enjoy it. A quick note before we start though. Look at how much difference cuts, styles and fabric make to this client of mine to help create a flatter tummy for her. And we didn't even need to buy new clothes for that. One of the most important things you have to be mindful of is the fabrics that you choose. If they're too pliable, they are too unforgiving and will show every single bit. If they are too stiff, they will add unnecessary bulk. I see many women wearing dresses like this. Although they are comfortable, the thick fabric enlarges you, adds unnecessary bulk. On top of that, the large print and the white background only reinforces that. Remember that white make it bigger. The length shortens my torso, and actually it doesn't even camouflage the tummy. All one sees is a big square shape. Colors and style will come to complement it. Choose mid-weight fabrics that will just follow naturally the curves, preferably in dark solid colors. Fabrics that will drape is also a great way to do it. Draping the top or a dress, either done manually or wearing one that's already draped is a great optical trick that makes even the most prominent belly blend in, regardless of your size. Peplum styles in the form of tops or dresses works wonders to camouflage your belly. Because the peplum flares out, no one will be able to see your stomach, since they are now covered by the ruffles. The key though is to select a style that ensures the ruffles are long enough to cover the biggest part of your tummy. Otherwise, they may actually draw the attention to your stomach. This one has bonus vertical lines, which slims the figure, and rougher shoulders that can be worn off shoulders, which widens the shoulders. Both details are very flattering. Don't wear anything oversized. By wearing pieces that fit you properly and perfectly, you won't add unnecessary volume. Here's a great hack to create shape to an otherwise frumpy oversized look. Instead of buttoning in the traditional way, skip one button. And next, button the skipped one with the next button, thus creating a crease that camouflages any seams, shaping the silhouette all at once. Matching or nearly matching tops and bottoms creates a column of color that registers visually as one sleek and broken line. It works for any color, but try this with all black or all white, two of the most common wardrobe neutrals. Ignore difference in fabrics and textures. Make sure you untuck your top or tuck in a way that will elongate your leg or your waistline area. The thing that you have to bear in mind is that you have to deviate the attention from that area. So don't cinch or belt your waist at all times. 
wear something that will draw the attention upwards, wear a beautiful neckline with some details, draw the attention away from the area you're wanting to camouflage. This is one of the greatest styling tricks. So show off your beautiful legs, shoes, a beautiful bag, your great lips, your beautiful hair or anything that will draw the attention elsewhere. Wearing high-rise pants and skirts, especially in a thick fabric like denim with the stretch, which is really going to hold everything in place. If you wear mid-rise or low-rise, they won't cover your belly and they will create a bulge, what we call the muffin top effect. And that makes you feel uncomfortable. Most women that have a large tummy, also we have a large breast. So it's extremely crucial to have the right underwear especially bra, a nice supporting bra that will support your breast properly, thus creating space in between your breast and your tummy area. That will make your waist more defined, which is always very slimming. Stock up on low chic heels, sandals and flats. Use this long over short or short over long technique. Trim your torso with an open jacket. There are several jacket tricks for belly bulge. Here's the first. Sure, it's another illusion, but framing your belly with a contrasting color jacket worn open over any shirt, tee or dress works like theater curtains to reduce the width of your body right at the waistline from a new view. Choose a jacket that can be worn indoors. A sleek structured jacket like a blazer gives the sharpest line, but even a cardigan, vest or shirt jacket, also known as shacket, will give similar results. Try shift dresses. The overall silhouette is always crisp, roomy and stands away from the body, so there's no cling in the middle. You get to choose sleeveless to short, elbow three quarters or long sleeves too. The only catch, it's all about your legs as a new focal point. Empire dresses are perfect because they fall from the bust line, which normally is the slimmest part if you are a pear shape. The print camouflages the area further and the maxi length appear much longer. The square neckline here is great to make large busts appear smaller and the strap can be placed anywhere according to where your slimmest part is. The only restriction with empire dresses is that they can make you look like you're pregnant if you have a high stomach. They work best for those who have a, a little pouch under the belly button, like the menopause belly. Drapes create the illusion of a flat tummy regardless of the color that you use. You might find it counteractive, but details at the front are also great to camouflage the area. Roll up the sleeves, make sure your sleeves aren't at the same level as your waist, as the eye sketch will be drawn to your waist. So that was it everyone, I really hope this has been helpful for you, but please don't think that there's anything wrong with your body. We all have different bodies, we all have our little perceived flaws and our assets. And styling is just a matter of playing with those. It's like makeup, it's supposed to make us look and feel good. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate your time. I'll leave some of the pieces I show in this video, plus some suggestions in the description box below as per your request. Have a great day and I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao everyone!